everybody and welcome to yet another episode of our technical drawing series so today we'll be looking at conic section do you ever know what conic section is and do you want to know how to draw an ellipse or if you want to learn how to draw an ellipse please watch this video and please i want you to watch this video to the end and follow all the procedure and all the steps that i'll be using in today's video if you miss every step you miss everything and most importantly if you miss the last part of this video then you have missed everything this whole day again. So please, I want you to watch this video to the end. And if you're new here to me on YouTube, please smash that subscribe tab below to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then ring that bell. Very important. All right. So let's get drawing. So we're going to be drawing an ellipse with this parameter. Okay. We're going to be using this rectangular um rectangular method. I'm giving the length to be 160 and the breadth to be 8 millimeter. So with this, we can draw our ellipse. Okay, so the first thing we do is to draw a very straight line and the length of this straight line should be 160 millimeter. I'm drawing our line 16 cm or 160 millimeter. They're the same thing, okay? Now after drawing this line, you can name it A, B. Now for you, cut across a rectangle from this line and the, the breadth of your of this rectangle is um, 80 millimeter. So, now after doing this next thing i'm going to do is to divide this part into two equal parts and divide the bread so into two equal parts now this is 160 half of 160 should be eight so this is eight okay i'm gonna measure eight to up eight and then join and then do the same thing to here this is here is eight so it will be four four that is half of eight and here it's so four now having done that now here comes into our mathematical part of this and uh, diagram by dividing this center line into eight equal parts I'm also dividing here to into eight equal parts. Now, what do I mean? This is 160. 160 divided by eight to give you um two. Okay, yeah, give it two. So we are measuring two two cm each. You can use parameters for the length to be like seventy or to be hundred or to be any value of your choice or the breadth to be something else. But rather now. The point is that you are set by into 8 equal parts. So if you're giving length to be 100, dividing 100 by 8 equal parts, if you're giving breadth to be 25 or 80, it's dividing into 8 equal parts. It's a constant in the equation. So please take note. But so this is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I'll do the same thing to here. I'm dividing here into eight equal parts. Is, this is eight. So I'm dividing into eight equal parts is one one each. Okay. Doing the same thing to here. One one each. You can number it. You can number here one, two, three. Okay. Now we're gonna join all these numbers to this point. One, two, three, we're gonna join them to this P to F. That is this pivot. Here it's called F, okay? The pivot, join one, two, three, two to the pivot. 
now I'm going to join my lines. I can see it's a very faint line, but for the essence of this video, so you can be able to see it, I'll be using the thick line. So I'm joining, okay? Join all of them to this point. Okay? The same thing to here. Now, likewise, the same thing. We are joining all these points to this last one. Three, two, one to this video here. G. Line one. What do I mean? This is F. Okay, let me put it so I can see it. This is F. Okay, passing through one. This is one. This is line one. Stopping at line one. F. Passing through one. Stopping at line one. This is line one. F. Passing through two. Stopping at line two. My F passing through three, stopping at line three two. Okay, now I also do the same thing too for this side. Okay, so likewise the same thing to this part from this side. While carrying them, one passing through one, stopping at line one two. Thank you. 